Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I'm here to talk TBRs and more specifically to talk about my Wilsathorn TBR, the books that I'm planning on reading between the 13th to the 20th of February in which me and a bunch of lovely booktubers are vowing to read as many Jacqueline Wilson books as humanly possible, basically trying to recapture the nostalgia of reading Jacqueline Wilson like we used to when we were children. I will link down below all of my co-hosts for this event as well as our social media links as well as the original videos that we did announcing the Jacqueline Wilsathon. But I'm really excited for this week and I'm so pleased to see how many other people seem really excited as well. I feel like there's something about Jacqueline Wilson books that just really especially for like young British women like really pulls our collective nostalgia and just makes us all very happy. Just you know simpler times, simpler times. We actually have a readathon and bingo card which Shaw created for us which I will show you here. So there are a bunch of different book prompts and challenges that you can take part in. Like I say not all of them are book related so we have things like create a doodle inspired by a book or eat a favourite childhood snack. Just something fun for you to think about and try and challenge yourself with. But now to get into some of the books that I'm personally planning on reading. As much as I would really really love to just work my way through all of my old Jacqueline Wilson books, I've got a good a good number of Jacqueline Wilson books, I don't think that's going to be possible for this week. Coincidentally I've got some fun exciting life things that are happening actually in that week which maybe possibly might derail my reading productivity but I do want to make a good go of trying to read as many Jacqueline Wilson books as I can. I don't want to abandon my co-host at all. So whilst this isn't all of the books that I would like to read and maybe is not going to fulfill every single prompt on our bingo card, this is like my minimum that I would like to get to. Now I did mention in the Wilsathon announcement video that all of us were planning on reading at least our all favourite book from Jacqueline Wilson and that we would do a short little review of it. And I mentioned in my announcement video that the one that I was planning to read was The Lutty Project. This is a book all about a young girl called Charlie who gets a new teacher who she really does not like very much. Her teacher refuses to call her Charlie, instead calls her Charlotte, which she hates because she thinks that Charlotte is a boring name to which I'm like, <laughs> rude. But she does start getting more engaged in her history classes, particularly as her new teacher sets them a new history project to focus on the Victorians. And for her project she decides that she's going to write a fictional diary about a young girl called Lottie and her experiences growing up and coming of age as a domestic servant in a wealthy Victorian family's home. So you might be able to tell there are a few things that kind of ticked boxes for me when I was little. The main character called Charlotte who through the course of the book gets more and more engaged in history. The older I get the more that I think that this was the book that kind of got me into history myself so I'm definitely wanting to read and review this full Wilsathon. So that's the one book that I've got on my TBR pile at the moment that I did already know about, that I had read previously. However, what really got me excited about the idea of doing this readathon was the idea of being able to read some of Jacqueline Wilson's newer books that I never got to. Things that were published when I felt like I was just a little bit too old to read Jacqueline Wilson. So actually the last three books that are on my TBR for this week are new things that I've never read before. Firstly, the one that I do have to hand is her newest book, Love Frankie, which has created a little bit of buzz recently because it is one of Jacqueline Wilson's first books exploring sexuality and in this book we see young Frankie who is 14 years old who is coming to terms with the fact that she might in fact be gay. And can we just have a moment for this gorgeous gorgeous cover and the fact that when you lift up the dust jacket you got a rainbow flag! Yay! A couple of my co-hosts have already read Love Frankie and have highly highly praised it so I'm really looking forward to reading this. And then the two other books that are on my TBR pile for this month are books that I am actually checking out as ebooks from my local library and they are the two books in the My Mum Tracy Beaker series. So the chances are if you've heard of Jacqueline Wilson before the character that you most associate with her is Tracy Beaker. She's definitely Jacqueline Wilson's most famous character. There were already three books in the original Tracy Beaker series, there were multiple TV shows and a film and in the past few years Jacqueline Wilson has chosen to revisit Tracy but this time as an adult and not only that but as a mother and giving people of my generation who grew up with Tracy Beaker the opportunity to see her as the adults that we have somehow weirdly become. So I really want to try and get to my mum Tracy Beaker and the sequel We Are The Beaker Girls. And this readathon could not have come at a better time because actually the television adaptation of My Mum Tracy Beaker is coming out in this week. It's got the original actress who played Tracy Beaker, Danny Harmer, coming back to reprise her role. Apparently we're going to see Justine Littlewood again and Cam and it's going to be released between the 12th and the 14th of February so perfect perfect timing for us. So yeah I'm really really hyped to be able to get the opportunity to read the two books and then watch the series alongside it. But that is not all I'm planning on reading during Wilsathon. No, no, no. I went to my local Alster on our weekly food shop and I found this. This is the official Jacqueline Wilson magazine. Is this meant for children? Yes. Did I pick it up anyway? 
Also, yes, it has a little sample book of The Worst Thing About My Sister, so I'll definitely try and read that this week. And then, like, little gifts in here all about how to improve your writing, as well as the magazine itself. So I am definitely going to be cracking this open, and getting the chance to read this alongside the books is really going to make it feel like a February half-term holiday, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I can remember my mum, like, dropping me off at my nine own granddad's with a new Jacqueline Wilson book and maybe a new Jacqueline Wilson magazine. I'm just going to feel like I'm eight again. It's going to be great. So yes, that's my little tentative TBR for Wilsathon. Like, I say I do really hope that I can read more in this week however because of aforementioned life things that are going on in that week I can't really commit to doing as many books as I wanted to do but we will see how we go I am feeling very optimistic and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you choose to read are you going to be joining in on Wilsathon do let me know uh, let me know which books you're most excited to read I'd love to hear from you I hope you're having a fantastic fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again soon thanks bye